Hi boys and girls, today we're going to test out some pom pom. Here we have the ball pit of crimson and clover. And here is a seahorse, decorative, not part of this test. This is the lingerie bag, my wife's lingerie bag, which we wash the pom poms with. And down here are the test subjects. First we'll try the dollar store pom poms, and let's see how this turns out. We'll pull it out a little bit. Let's see what we can get out of there. Oops, yeah, there's some. Can you see that? Yeah, there's some red fuzz coming out of there. Let's see what happens when we really pull it. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. So if you've got very strong gliders, you know they like to play tug of war, this could end up bad. All right, let's try the. Hobby Lobby pom pom. Let's see if anything comes out of that. Uh oh, yeah. There's some yellow fuzz. That's not good. When you pinch it small, it comes out like that. However, when you pull it uh, with the strength of two Sherman tanks pulling, uh, yeah, it don't come apart, but it does shred a little bit. Yep. If you pull it small, all right. You may draw your own conclusions. If you decide to keep your ball pit, I suggest that you do not throw Mealy's or Yogi's into the ball pit and have the gliders go diving for them. The Mealy's got little armies that they grab a hold of things and drag with them. And Yogi's are sticky and they can get stuck all stuck up with fuzz and then the gliders eat the fuzz and there you go. So I would suggest you just uh, use this ball pit with supervision if you're going to keep it. And that's what we do with Crimson and Clover. We've had many months this ball pit and haven't had any problems with them but that don't mean you won't because all gliders are different. So that concludes this test. Eat your vegetables, you hear me?